Hi guys, I hope you've watched uh, Where's the Monkey video on YouTube just as a little warm up. So today we're going to be learning about positional language. Now that sounds a bit like a big word and a bit scary, but all it means is it's words that tell us about where something is. So we're going to play a little game to warm up. Uh, so shake your hands out, get them ready, ready to join in with my game. I would like you to put your hands on top of your head. So on top of tells you where your hands needed to go. Okay, let's try again. I would like you to put your hands on your knees. Fantastic. Now, I would like you to put your hands behind your back. So behind means round the back of something and I wanted them to go round the back of your back. Well done. I would like you to put one finger in between your eyes. Have a go at that safely. Okay, I'm going to show you what that means. One finger in between your eyes. So in between means it's in the middle of two different things. So my finger is in between this eye and this eye. Fantastic. We will have one more go. I would like you to put your hands under your chin. Fantastic. Well done. Now, for the next part of this video, you are going to need a chair, any kind of chair that you can go under, and you are going to need a toy. So I have got my toy, Patrick the Pug. So you might want to pause this video there whilst you get yourself a chair and a toy. Okay, hopefully you've got your chair and your toy ready. Now, I'm going to be showing you a couple of examples of how we play this game, and then we're going to play it together. So what's going to happen is I'm going to use positional language to tell you where to put your toy around the chair. And then you are going to have a go at doing it yourself. Once you've had a turn, I will then do it to show you what it looks like, and you can see if you got it right or not. So what's going to happen is I will say something like, Put your toy on the chair. So you have to put your toy on the chair. And then I will show you what it looks like. So I'm going to put my toy on the chair. And then I'm going to say, the pug is on the chair. And then you check you've got it right. You think you're ready for this challenge? Okay, super. So get your toy and sit next to your chair. The first thing I would like you to do is put your toy under your chair. I'll give you a little bit of time to do that. Put your toy under your chair. Now I'm going to put my toy under the chair to show you where it should be. So the pug is under the chair. If you got it right, give yourselves a high five. Okay, this time I would like you to put your toy on the chair. Put your toy on the chair. Now I'm going to show you the answer. The pug is on the chair. Well done if you got that right. Okay, this time I would like you to put your toy above the chair. That's a tricky one. I'll say it again. I would like you to put your toy above the chair. I'm going to show you. The pug is above the chair. It's higher than the chair. The pug is above the chair. Okay, this time I would like you to put your toy behind the chair like you to put your toy behind the chair. Okay, I'm going to put my pug behind the chair, which means at the back of. So you might not be able to see him on the video, but my pug is behind the chair. Woof! Now he's back again. Okay, now I have a bit of a trickier challenge for you. I would like you to put your toy in between you and the chair. So I would like you to put your toy in between you and the chair. See if you can give that a go. 
Remember, it means in the middle of two different things. Okay, I'm going to put my pug in between me and my chair. So I'm here and my chair's there and my pug is in between me and the chair. Fantastic, well done. Thank you for playing that game with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I've got a little challenge for you, which you might want to have a go at at home. What you could do is a little mini treasure hunt with somebody in your house. So it might be your grown ups or your brothers and sisters. Now, what you'd need to do is you'd need to get some pretend treasure or some little toys and you'd need to hide them around your house. And then using your positional language, you need to give people clues about where they might find them. So you might say treasure number one is in between the sofa and the TV. And they have to look in between the sofa and the TV and see if they can find your treasure. Then you might go upstairs and you might say there is some treasure under one of the pillows. And they have to look under all of the pillows and see if they can find the treasure. So that might be an idea to keep you busy and give you something to do today whilst practising using your positional language. Remember, even though it sounds big and scary, it's just words that tell us where something is. We use them all the time and they're not to be scared of. OK, now I hope you've had fun today. Hopefully I will get to see you soon, but keep busy, keep safe and keep learning. See you soon. Bye.